oil, petroleum, is all around you, all the time. And I don't just mean in the form of the fuel being used to bring you everything that is around you now. Hey everyone, welcome back again. It's Max Ogier with another energy and resource video. As always, this time I will show you to an extent myself somewhat just uh, how extensively you rely on petroleum. The miracle liquid fossil hydrocarbon that allowed the second half of the rise of modern civilization. The first half, of course, being allowed by coal. And the miracle liquid fossil hydrocarbon that allows for the historically astonishing quality and ease of life that you're now able to live. If you really, really think about every ease, convenience, and all but wizard-like abilities that we all now have, no matter how poor any of us may be, humanity has never had it better or easier. So to get the initially obvious out of the way, first, yes, the most abundant form of oil around you or substance refined from oil is, of course, the liquid fuel sitting in every vehicle and every vehicle fueling station, whether public or industrial. It's the source of the fuel in this vehicle and in this vehicle and this vehicle and this one, and this one too, but even more importantly, in this vehicle too, and this one, and this one, and this one, again and again, over and over and over. It provides us with preformed, easily utilizable, absurdly energy dense fuel the explosivity of which grants motion to the machines. As small as this, to as big as this. This grand liquid fuel, so easily movable, so easily usable, no need for conversion mediums like steam, no need to tow entire carriages of it behind you, no need to keep it cooled and compressed like natural gas. Liquid hydrocarbon fuel. This has granted us modernity, granted mobility to us and everything we want. This aspect, this factor of petroleum cannot be understated, even in a video like this one that's not actually dedicated to it in its fuel form. So you owe this easy, lazy, compatible modern world to petroleum, and actually even more specifically to these three German dudes from over a century ago who invented the engines that can utilize the liquid fuel we get from petroleum. But it's time to move on and see, even when you're not in or near a vehicle, just how much you are still surrounded by petroleum. So time to transition to my ugly face. So once the camera comes on, We'll just go through everything we can possibly find in one room that came from petroleum. AKA everything. Except the wood of the furniture in my room. The liquid crystals inside this liquid crystal display. The mesh fibers of this uh, microphone pop filter. Plastic of this milk jug. The rubber, this uh, of this power cable here, plastic of this water bottle, rubber in this power cable, the uh, hard plastic resin of this uh, power converter or power adapter, plastic here for the uh, encasing of the GoPro usually, this, uh, this pen and the ink inside of the pen, the uh, polyester fibers of uh, some of my thicker winter pants, all the uh, casing of this and pretty much any other refrigerator, this power cord as well, the container of this dental floss and the Teflon fiber of the dental floss itself, this toothpaste container, 
and the toothpaste inside of it itself. Uh, this acrylic resin toothbrush and the nylon fibers of the toothbrush bristles and the package that it came in. The various polyester fibers of this clothes hamper here. The container for this laundry detergent and the laundry detergent itself. The rubber of the cable for these cheap $15 JVC headphones. The plastic of the headphones themselves. The synthetic leather uh, on the ear encompassing part of the headphones. The soft mesh fiber there on the inside. And few people know, but also the uh, the resonating membrane that actually produces the sound from inside the headphones. Let's see plastic of this plastic bag, all of the various uh, polyester-like fibers and materials that make up this suitcase, and pretty much uh, most other suitcases, most other backpacks. The sandals or flip-flops, every part of them. Uh, these. Uh, these slippers and the foam inside the slippers. Basically everything about shoes, every single part of them. Let's see, this bottle of shampoo and any other bottle of shampoo, plus the shampoo inside it, everything except the zinc. The ethanol in this hand sanitizer and all of the other chemicals in this hand sanitizer and the plastic container of this hand sanitizer. The uh, plastic containers of deodorant dispensers and pretty much every component of the deodorant itself inside. The container of this chapstick and about half of the components of the chapstick itself. The particular type of plastic that's used to make uh, window blinds. Also along with suitcases, the uh, various fibers and materials used to make backpacks. The polyester and various fibers in this uh, this comforter here. Sheets are actually cotton, but also the uh, the foam inside of this pillow. The uh, fibers and materials uh, that cover over seats and chairs, along with the uh, the actual cushioning inside the chairs. The uh, smooth waxy polish that's uh, put over pretty much any wooden furniture nowadays. The fibers of this carpet. The paint on these walls, and pretty much every wall anywhere. Container for my medication, and the medication in the container itself, which at some point in the future I probably won't actually be able to afford anymore depending on how things go, but that's my problem. PayPal is in the description below if you'd like to help not make it a problem anymore. But enough of my lack of health insurance and likely upcoming lack of a job. Back to still more petroleum in the rubber of these tires. The fabric covering of these and basically every seat. The cushioning foam inside of every seat and couch. All of the tar and asphalt of all of the millions of miles of road across this earth. The adhesives holding so many things together. The high strength resin of these wind turbine blades. Yes, wind power actually requires petroleum, not just in the form of shipping the parts, but actually in the material that uh, composes the blades of the wind turbines. It's a form of flexible yet hard resin that is given extra strength by being blended with fiberglass on the inside. The antibacterial agents inside soaps and sanitizers and cleaning compounds, pretty much all of the other components in those soaps and sanitizers and cleaning compounds. All of the insulation material in this building, and this building, and every other modern non-asbestos using building. The rubber sealant around the inside of every window frame. The protective insulating material inside of all packaging shipments. The sealing wrap or saran wrap around uh, many shipments of most kinds. Many, many medications and medicinal compounds. This list doesn't stop. I'm going to make it stop, make it stop here, because I don't want to uh, record an eternal video. But basically most of you should probably know it already, or at least have uh, gotten the point by now that it would just keep going and going and going. So yeah, petroleum. 
you are almost certainly sitting on it, probably wearing it, responding to this video by clicking with it, or pressing down on keys made out of it. Your car sits on it. Many components of your car are made out of it, and is fueled by it, obviously. You drink out of it. Everything around you is colored by it. My state and some of your countries rely on the price of it. Petroleum is the top, the base, and the walls of the societal framework pyramid. It is by far chief among the three hydrocarbons. And there will not, for too much longer, be enough to truly go around. But that's it for this hopefully shorter video. As always, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more content of the sword, of course. Again, if you want to help me out by any amount, my PayPal is down in the description below. I'm preemptively grateful for anything that anyone contributes. But regardless, I'll see you all around next time.